I can turn my probe around and now get into an orientation where the view from the pulmonary artery, as it comes straight up towards the spine, will make this a good angle to Doppler the pulmonary artery. So I'm going to take us off the color compare mode and we can see the bifurcating pulmonary artery coming straight, straight up towards us here with the spine orientated to the top of the screen. This would be an excellent position for Doppler interrogation of the pulmonary valve because the flow is heading directly away from us. So we can interrogate this with use of pulse Doppler placed just distal to the pulmonary valve. And here we see a typical shape of the pulmonary signal with a very sharp acceleration time upstroke and an asymmetric trace, often with a little notch in it. And as we see here, the, you can see the closure click of the pulmonary valve, which indicates that you are at the level of the pulmonary valve. The Doppler velocity in this case, around 50 centimeters per second, which is perfectly normal. Be very careful that you don't, that in scanning, you don't drift down into the arterial duct here because if that happens, then what you will see is that you register a much higher velocity here. You can also see that you have lost the um, closure click of the, uh, uh, of the pulmonary valve, and you see a slight extension of flow into diastole, indicating that you're up at the level of the arterial duct rather than at the level of the pulmonary valve, which is an important uh, distinction.